Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's block is called Sunset Light. And you'll use four different fabrics, including your black. So there it is. Let's move that out of the way and get started though. You will need fabric A. Oh, my paper is a mess here. Let's see. You'll need fabric A is this one. You'll need two four and a half by four and a half and two two and a half by four and a half so four and a half inch squares and two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles b you'll need four four and a half inch squares and then both c and d you'll need two two and a half inch squares so we're going to do this one a little different also we're just going to lay it out so these are our top and bottom and these are our middle pieces our middle sides then this one's our four corners. This is so this is all fabric A. Fabric B is our four corners. And then fabrics C and D make up the middle and they're just going to alternate. And I am just putting them in there no specific order. Because if it looks good, that's what we're going with. So now we're going to sew them together. And I'm going to start with these. I'm just going to fold these over. And um, if, I, if I wasn't right next to it, like if you're traveling to your sewing machine from where you're putting this out, I would pin that in and just do them all. But I'm just going to sew those two, those two, and those two, and these two. And then we'll come back, open them up, and move on to the next step. So let's get these all sewn down. This is the last block in our quilt. Or my quilt, if you're not making it, I don't know. I'm looking at both my bobbin and my spool of thread. They're both gonna run out. So we'll see if we get it finished with it. Well, we're definitely not going to get it finished with the bobbin. Let's sew this up. Cut them off. Head back over. This one goes over here. Now I'm going to iron them all open to this darker fabric. Whatever you choose, you're going to iron them all to the same one. That way they nest because they are going opposite. So now we're just going to lay them back out and again it doesn't matter however you want it i know that's opposite what i had it but that's how i'm doing it anyway so now we have to make this middle row into blocks so we're going to make this into a block this long white piece this piece a and i'm just going to pin it in the middle maybe and I'm pinning it because this one I have to nest. So we're going to pin it too. That way I can have my whole pile over there. And then this one we're just going to fold down. And I'm just going to hold it because I'm going over now to do it. So we'll head on over there. Set these down. Bobbin might not make it through this. We'll see. Take that pin out. And last one. I'm going to go ahead and take that pin out. Oh, 
Hmm. If it would line up, that would help me. Oh yes, we made it. Now we're going to do this one. Let's cut it loose and head back over. Let's cut these loose. I'm going to iron them open. I am ironing to the white side, even though you're not supposed to, but I'm doing it. That one's a little bit big there. Oh, whoops. And this one, it doesn't matter. They're both the same. So we're going to lay it back out, make sure these are opposite, and now we just have to sew it into rows, and we're going to start with this one, and just sew right down it, and then come back for the next, and the next, and just like always, we'll circle around to the next side. Watching my bobbin. I might make it through this. We'll see. Let's flop it around here and get the first one. Grab the other one, lay it on top. And next, and our four patch is our middle one, so we'll grab our other white one, put it on there next to that. get my other row done it's a lot more thread than I thought it was all right and I've actually sewn all these up so let me iron these real quick and I'm gonna sew them together into a four patch should have had that ready, but I didn't. We're just gonna make this into a four patch real quick. Not part of this block, just prepping for another one. And there's still thread on that bobbin. I like it. Let's go back over. Okay, I'm going to iron the middle to the outside. No, it don't matter. I'm going to iron the top and bottom to the outside and the middle to the inside. It's the same amount of seams on either one, so... Or, yeah, no, that's right. It's this side I did. It's right, you silly people. All right, we're gonna lay it back out. There's our middle. Our white piece goes on top and on bottom. So now we are just going to fold it down and pin it together. at the, both the seams and the beginning and the end on the first piece. 
piece. There's a seam there in the middle. I'm not sure I paid attention to that on the last one, but it matched up, so yay me. <laughs> then we're going to fold it up, flip this one up, and bring it over. So I could have trimmed that off. I see it, but I'll trim it off later if it bothers me. Once it's sewn, you know, whatever. Alright, we'll match up that middle one, and then I'm just going to hold it for the beginning. thread in it. You think we can get the other side? Let me get these pins out. We're going to prep another four patch to go through, but I think that's going to be the end of my bobbin. But I still don't want to waste it. We're going to try it. I might regret it, but I might not. Change the bobbin real quick. Alright, I changed the bobbin. I had to find it, so I paused the video. And then we're just going to sew this back up, or finish sewing it up rather. Oh, whoops. We'll sew this one. That video is going to come real soon for these little pieces I'm doing. We are going to cut this off. All right. And then we're going to iron it open. And there it is. Again, it is sunset light. And as promised, there are the measurements. Again, it's sunset light. It's a 12 inch block. You will need two four and a half inch squares and two two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. Four four and a half inch squares. And these two are both four two and a half inch squares. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make it and love it, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.